What's going on my fellow photoshoppers, it's Conti here with another photoshopping tutorial. In today's tutorial we are going to have a look at creating Christmas abstract lights. So Photoshop windows open at the ready please. Go to file, new. The width for this canvas will be 1300 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. Click OK. Press shift and backspace on your keyboard. Choose black as your fill contents option. Go to create a new layer. Rename this layer Christmas Tree Blur. Go to your paintbrush tool. Double click on your foreground color option. The code you want on this particular occasion here will be 3E4E0D. Change the brush size now, the size to 800. Soft round. With your Christmas tree blur layer selected, go to one of the corners, left click once. Change the brush size to 500. Left click in three separate locations. Change the brush size again to 400 this time then left click once in two separate locations finally change it to 300 and click in one single location go back to your foreground color option your next code will be FBFFA9 click OK with the brush size still at 300 left click twice in the middle go to filter blur and Gaussian blur Set the pixel count to 80, click OK. Change the opacity of the Christmas tree blur layer to 90%. Go to create a new layer. Select your brush tool once more. Choose hard round, size 100, opacity 100%, flow 100%. Change your foreground color to white. I'm gonna be making various layers invisible throughout this tutorial so that you can see what I'm doing with each of my patterns and picture features. Make the Christmas tree blur layer invisible. Rename layer one main lights. Left click five times on your canvas. Double click on main lights to open up the layer style. Choose outer glow. Double click on the color option. The color code you want here is FCFF1F. Click OK. Blend mode should be set to normal, opacity 75%, noise 0, technique softer, spread 5%, size 18 pixels, range 50. Keep the contour the same, click OK. Go to create another new layer. Drag this underneath main lights. Main lights should remain top of the layer list of all time until we get on to our final black layer. Rename layer 1 main lights red. Double click on your foreground color box once more. The color option you want this time is FA131C. Click OK. With your main light red layer selected, left click about half or a third of the way out away from the center of the main light circles, like so. Ensure that you vary the point where you click alongside each main light circle also. Go to filter, blur, motion blur. Angle should be set to minus 43, distance 30 pixels. Click OK. Go to create a new layer. I'm going to be making the main lights and main lights red layers invisible for now. Rename the new layer red circle. Choose your brush tool, select the same brush as before, hard round, size 100 pixels, opacity 100 and flow 100. Double click on your foreground option, change your shade of red to CD0A12, click OK. Left click once in the middle of your canvas, double click on your red circle layer to open up layer style. Choose inner glow. Double click on the color box available. 
set the color code to the same light red we have used previously, FA131C. Click OK. Blend mode screen, opacity 75, noise 0, technique softer, source edge, choke 4, size 8 pixels, range 50%. Click OK. Go to right click on the circle layer and duplicate layer. Click OK. Go to your move tool, drag your circle away from your main copied image. Repeat this process up to 10 times until you have a selection of red balls. Hold control and make sure that you left click on all of your copies, right click and merge all layers together. Once you have merged all your red ball layers together, I'm going to rename this reds and 60. The 60 comes from the opacity level, I've reduced this one to 60%. Ensure that you keep your original red circle layer so that you can make more layers with different opacity settings. Here are some more examples of merged layers I've created. Four red circles with an opacity of 15%. Four red circles with an opacity of 40% and a group of red circles with an opacity of 20%. I also created a merged layer full of red circles with a Gaussian blur setting as well as a 60% opacity. In order to apply the Gaussian blur, go to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. Set the pixel count to 5. Click OK. You may also choose to create merge layers with slightly smaller versions of the same circle. Press Ctrl and T on your keyboard to select the free transform tool. Hold Shift, left click in one of the corners and reduce the circle to about 25%. Press Enter. Now to add some of the golden circles. Select your brush tool once more. 100% pixels, hard round, opacity 100, flow 100. Go to create a new layer. Call this gold ball. As long as you have a color selected which isn't black, you can left click once in the middle of the canvas to create your circle. Go to your gradient tool. Go to your gradient thumbnail on the top of your screen and choose an option where you can get two different colors. For your left color, you use the code FFE326. For your second color, the darker shade, use A5931B. Click OK when you've entered these codes in. Click OK once more. Go to your magic wand tool. Left click inside your recently painted wall. Go back to your gradient tool once more. Ensure that your golden gradient is selected and that you're choosing a linear gradient format. Go to the top left corner of your selection. Left click and drag a line down to the opposite side of your highlighted circle. Let go of your mouse. Press Ctrl and D on your keyboard to deselect. Repeat the same process with the gold ball that you did with the red ones. Vary the opacity from 20 to 100% and apply Gaussian blurs ranging from 2 pixels up to 20. Try and include a mixture of balls around the main lights also to intensify the Christmas tree light effect. Now finally go to create a new layer. Rename this new layer black. With the new layer selected, hold shift, press backspace on your keyboard. Choose black as the color to fill. Go to your eraser tool. Set the eraser to soft round. Size can be anywhere from 950 to 1000 pixels. Opacity 100 and flow 100% as well. Go to your canvas. Left click once on either side, ensuring that the whole cursor is inside the canvas and left click once more in the middle. Thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. To support this channel please like and subscribe. Merry I would like to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Hope you all have a good one. Join me soon for another photoshopping tutorial if you have any other ideas about what I should do a photoshop tutorial on. 
please leave your ideas in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching. Take care.